black armor. Last, last in the line is a Giac. Is the Giac wagon team leader? You crouch down behind the wagon, but it's too late. They have seen where you are. Rosa Doc, destroy him. Growls the leader, Drakar, and eagerly the others affirm his grim command. Mm. All right. That's a... a Giac. Oh, there we go. Mm. Mm. Ooh, one of them's got a sword. Mm. I have enough. It's fine. <whistles> whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Oh, I only have 17 daggers. But, I should try this. Choo, choo. Choo, choo, choo. Aw. I think I'll do this. Fingers crossed I get enough endurance. Oh, come on! Oh, of course, they heal. I forgot they can do that. I think a single. Yep, kills that. Ooh, doing that got me a lot of Somaland stuff. Not Somaland, Kai. Like, a lot of Kai powers. Um, you've got more health. Of course. I was kind of waiting that for that to happen, because it happens so fucking often. Like, literally, they block everything. And it really sucks. He's bleeding! Right, he'll probably die then. Um... I'll do this then. Psionic shield, bitch. It's like, oh no! There we go. He died. And the other one's just confused. Right, I don't remember how much I need. Is it 300? Wait, if I can get to 350. There we go. I can't block! Oh, bugger. Ah, oh, there we go. He's still stunned, so I'm fine. Until he stops being stunned, which may not matter. I can't believe how close those three are together. Oh yeah, the only one I could execute was the one in the middle. That's weird. Very strange. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, I should have assumed this was going to happen. All right, cool. You're going to dodge. Oh no, you're not. Very good. Fuck off. I don't know what I want to use now. Can I block? Fuck, I don't have access to it yet. Uh, I can't use any of those. Ugh, six cents, maybe. This might be a good idea. There we go. Yay! I really, really need access to... Shit. I thought it was going to hit me three times. I'm going to say, that's a bit fucking excessive. In it. Right, in all fairness, I might just have to do this. Yeah. Oh, it gives me everything! That's right. Ah, oh, crap. Oh well. He's gonna attack. Uh, or not. Very good. Oosh! If I'm able to use my Kai powers. Then, sure. Oh no, it's like one more turn, I think. Yeah, that's a shame. Quick attack. Yup. There we go. <sighs> Ooh, the boss man. He had three and a half thousand health. It's a lot of health. It seems like it's a lot. Maybe it didn't. I don't know. Nobody knows. Nah. Hell yes. For Summerland and Nakai! And I win! I kick their ass! I mean, I am Lone Wolf, so what do you expect? You retreat from the bodies of your slain enemies and hurry towards the rear of the wagon, anxious to release Jen. From the prison cage, you approach its lock. It is crude, but sturdy. I could probably pick it. And I do have 20 lockpicks, so... 
Yeah, I'll try it. Try to pick the lock of the cage in order to fi finally free Jen from his captivity. Let's do it, I guess. Yay. Oh my god, that's creepy. I just noticed you can see Jen. <laughs> that was so simple. So like I was trying to like ease it, ease it, ease it, and I just turned it and boosh, done. Wow. That was anticlimactic. The cage is now open, but as you are about to take Jen out of it, you hear a feminine voice break the silence of the night. It's Leandra. The girl is rushing towards you, raising plumes of snow as she moves. What are you doing here, you say? In what? Incredulously? I have no idea. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm taking care of my father, she replies, tersely. I, I thought we'd agreed that was my mission, you replied, disconcerted by her sudden and unexpected appearance. I'm just making sure you'd uphold your vow, she answers sternly. Her seeming lack of faith in your ability to keep your promise both irritates and annoys you, but you do not let your emotions get the better of you. Leandra has followed you all the way from the secret exit from the mines. It was a rash and irresponsible thing of her, or for her, to do, and yet understandable. Clearly she is devoted to her father and will do anything she feels is necessary to ensure his safety. From a pocket of her tunic, she produces a potion of Lomspur. Gently, she tilts back her father's head and pours the liquid slowly between his bloody lips. Here, she says, make yourself useful, come support his head. He'll revive in a few minutes. His black book is missing. I must look for it. You obey her request and comfort Jen as best you can while she makes her... makes a thorough search of the wagon, the tents, and the corpse of the dead Draca room. While she's doing this slowly, Jen stirs to consciousness. Leandra returns... At the moments, his eyes flicker open. Rest easy, father, she says in a soft and soothing voice. You have not heard her use before. Your captors have paid with their lives for what they have done to you. The Lancer is working and Jen's strength is fast returning. In just a few minutes, he is able to sit up unaided. Leandra breathes a sigh of relief and the two hug each other tightly. Ah, And there I am in the background. When they end their fond embrace, Jen pats the empty pockets of his leather coat and his eyes widen with anxiety. Fear not, father, says Leandra, knowingly. Your designs are safe. Here is your black book. I found it on the body of, the, of that Giac over there, she says, pointing to the cops, the wagon team leader, lying nearby in the snow. They'll not be showing it to anyone now. Jen forces a smile as he takes the book from his daughter's hands and slips it back into his pocket. Praise Kai, this is a blessed relief, you say. You may decide to forgo your praise a, a while longer, says Leandra ominously. The book's been retrieved, but there is something else you should know. Ah, oh, the end of the chapter. Yay! I should level up a few things. Hopefully. Hey, my strength. My dexterity is terrible. Ooh. Very good. Forest hunt. Alright. Leandra speaks in a subdued voice. The the Gex have something of mine that must not fall into the hands of the Dark Lords. I, I invented and built an engine myself. Leandra glances at her father hesitantly before she continues. It's much smaller, safer, and more powerful than any of my father's machines. While working in the western part of the forest, the miners found themselves in an old Shianti chamber. I found a crystal there. My engine's harness Harnesses its engine in a, say, in a way I would not have believed possible. Jen's eyes widen and he struggles to draw breath. Leandra, the relics of the Shianti are cursed, he gasps. No good will come from using them. You promised me you wouldn't. I'm sorry, father. I love you dearly, but I'll not be held back by old superstitions. My prototype engine will change all our lives for the better. I'm an inventor too, and a very good one. Will you never give me any credit for my work? And now the Geax have it. I'll credit you for that, scoffs Jen. And when the Dark Lord Masters receive it, how will it change our lives for the better then? Jin struggles to contain his anger. I know very well the thrill of discovery, but this is just selfish pride. Inisha's name. How did you lose it? I hoped I would find the prototype here among the loot, but my hopes were misplaced. I had the device in my possession in Rockstown, but I dropped it when I was running from the Geax. I saw them retrieving it and handing it over to the Dracker Room. This was before our mighty Fryal swept in to save the day. My lord, it is you! He says and salutes you respectfully. His difference 
deference to your rank is very different to the recognition you receive from his daughter at, th- at your first meeting. It is clear that, however, it is clear, however, that Jen is determined to get the whole picture about the attack. With a frown, he says, My lord, the enemy must have known about my daughter's work, yet it seems they didn't know about her or they wouldn't have come looking for me. Leandra now fully realizes the consequences of her actions and tears begin to well in her eyes. She stands awkward, in awkward silence, staring at the snowy ground. Jen continues, Now that Leandra's engine, engine is in enemy hands, may Kai and Isha have mercy on us all. They will take it to the Vitarg. Of that I am sure. That accursed tower is perched on the cliff's edge on the, nor- the far north side of the sunken forest. Leandra finds her voice and gives you a few quiet words of advice. To reach Vitarg, you'll need to cross a great chasm. It divides the sunken forest near its center. There are two ways I know across the chasm, but we can discuss this later. Now I need to take my father somewhere that is safe. We must go back to the mines. Your keen ears hear the distinctive sound of Dracorim approaching the encampment. You tell Leandra to assist her father and make a good escape. Make good and escape. While they still can, Leandra helps her father to his feet and spots his weight. Go as quickly as you can, you say, and, and may Isha's light guide your way. Moments after they disappear among the trees, a war party of Dracorim encounters the encampment area. They see the bodies of their slain comrades and they come rushing forwards with their weapons drawn. They are hungry for revenge. Hmm. You draw the Dracorim's further into the camp, try to slow them down. Try the Dracorim to cover Leandra's and Jen's escape. Yep. You decide that an attack is your best form of defense in this situation. You steal your nerve and raise your weapon above your head before you give vent to your battle cry and run headlong into the attacking Dracorim. Yay, we're fighting more things. Hooray! I want to know what happens when you get, like, an ability filled. Like, above the abilities, they've got, like, a little bar. I want to know what happens when that gets filled. It's probably going to happen with the Kai. The Kai one soon. Because I've used that a lot. Well, actually, no, I haven't. It's just, it fills up pretty quick. Yeah, that one. It's, like, halfway already. <coughs> yeah! 1286. Not bad. There we go. There goes one. And... There goes the other. Very good. I win! That was easy. It's made so much easier when you use the Kai powers. I've got 3, 5, 50 health now. Da 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 da. Alright. Awesome. Having defeated the Dracorim, you pause for a few moments to scour the surrounding trees for signs of other enemies. The dark forest echoes with strange noises, some are close, some are distant. You detect the noise of Dracorim and Giax moving through the trees, and you also hear the sound of loot wagons being hauled across snow-covered trails. In order to avoid running foul of them, you... We'll need to find a high vantage point where you can determine precisely where, where these enemy units are located. You're about to leave the encampment when another sound demands your attention. From out of the surrounding trees, the wolf pack emerges, led by the old male with a distinctive patch of white fur in the center of its forehead. You stare into its amber eyes and immediately it knows your intentions. With its snout, the pack leader indicates towards the distance. The wolf then moves calmly in this direction. As he goes, he turns and looks at you again. You smile at him and nod your head in acknowledgement. You are grateful for his help. Yay! Whoa. Oh, we're going over to a tree. The Monumental Oak. I will... Yeah, I'll do that. Just to get endurance back. Ah, oh, fuck. No! Am I able to use my Somers word? Is that not a possibility? I'm in my like I'm in like my Zen place again. Not great. Oh yeah, they attack first. Brick. Eh. 
Ja, ich weine. Yay! There we go. Didn't realize that was going to be the one I executed, but all right. Can I just do this? We'll recover everything then. Well, I get a lot of endurance back. There we go. It's healing. <sighs> okay, whatever. I got both of them. Executed. Yeah! If I didn't use the potion, I could have killed it with a quick attack. <sighs> Never mind.